the AI industry just experienced what might be its most intense week ever, and what's happening behind the scenes at OpenAI reveals they're feeling genuine pressure for the first time, while a Chinese company called DeepSeek just proved you don't need billions in compute budget to match frontier performance, and Amazon quietly dropped an autonomous coding agent that can literally work independently for days without supervision. But here's what makes this moment genuinely historic. OpenAI has been secretly testing a new memory search feature inside ChatGPT that briefly appeared for some users before vanishing again, which usually signals internal testing is happening. Rumors about GPT 5.2 are getting significantly louder, with some sources describing the situation inside the company as code red. After Google's Gemini 3 launch apparently captured part of their user base, China's DeepSeek just released their V3.2 model that somehow achieves GPT-5 level performance on reasoning benchmarks using a fraction of the compute through an innovation called sparse attention that fundamentally changes how we think about building powerful AI. Mistral AI out of France rolled out their complete Mistral 3 family as fully open source under Apache 2.0 license. Proving open source momentum keeps accelerating, Runway dropped their Gen 4.5 video model that's already topping leaderboards with 1,247 ELO points outperforming every other text-to-video system currently available. Kling AI owned by Kwaishu is about to launch Kling 2.6 that finally integrates native audio generation directly into video in the same pass, meaning spoken dialogue and ambient sound effects come out with the visuals and code references in OpenAI's latest Android beta reveal ads are coming to ChatGPT likely around shopping queries as sponsored product cards. Once you understand why DeepSeek's architecture proves that with restricted access to advanced semiconductors, you can still compete at the absolute top level by being smart with design, and what it means that nearly every major player dropped something significant within the same few days creating what researchers at NeurIPS in San Diego described as an explosive moment in group chats across labs, you'll realize we're watching the AI landscape restructure itself in real time, and the competition is fiercer than it's ever been. The AI industry just went through what might be its most intense period ever, with almost every major player releasing something significant simultaneously. OpenAI's been testing a new memory feature in ChatGPT, and at the same time, speculation about GPT 5.2 is intensifying considerably. China's DeepSeek shocked the industry again with their new V3.2 model that somehow matches GPT-5 performance using a fraction of the compute budget. Amazon arrived with a new AI chip and an autonomous coding agent that can literally operate independently for days. Mistral rolled out a complete open-source model family under Apache 2.0. Runway dropped a cinematic Gen 4.5 video model, and Kling AI is preparing to release a version that finally generates video and audio in the same pass. Starting with OpenAI, people noticed something new appearing inside ChatGPT, a memory search option. It briefly showed up for some users before disappearing again, which typically means internal testing is actively happening. The core concept stays simple, yet surprisingly effective. Instead of scrolling through dozens of stored memory entries trying to locate something you told ChatGPT weeks ago, you'll be able to just ask it directly, and it'll pull that information from your stored data instantly. It's designed to fix one of the most frustrating aspects of the memory interface, which is the clutter that accumulates over time. What's particularly interesting is, this looks almost identical to something already existing in the Atlas browser. Atlas has what they call browser memory, where users can search through everything they've seen or saved. Even the icons look nearly identical, which people noticed immediately. The feature isn't publicly available yet, but its brief appearance inside ChatGPT strongly suggests it's either being internally tested or slowly rolled out. OpenAI seems to be doubling down on better context handling, which makes sense as their models become more agentic. Memory is the one element that keeps ChatGPT from feeling truly persistent across sessions. A searchable version makes the assistant feel significantly more like a long-term partner rather than just a chat window. And this might not be the only development on the way. Inside the company, reports indicate OpenAI is under considerable pressure after Google's Gemini 3 launch which apparently captured some of OpenAI's user base. Some sources even described it as a code red situation internally, meaning they're accelerating internal development to regain ground. That's why many people think GPT 5.2 could arrive sooner than expected, 
possibly even before the year ends. If it drops around the same time as memory search, it would be a clear strategic move to remind everyone that OpenAI still leads when it comes to practical AI for productivity applications. It would also fit the pattern we've observed before. When competition intensifies, OpenAI pushes updates faster, but the competition right now is more fierce than it's ever been. And one of the main reasons is a company out of China called DeepSeek. They just released their V3.2 AI model, and the numbers are genuinely wild. It performs on par with GPT-5 in reasoning benchmarks while using far fewer total training flops. That's not just a technical detail. It represents a complete shift in how people might think about building powerful AI systems. Instead of throwing billions of dollars in compute at a model, DeepSeek managed to hit frontier-level performance by being smart with its architecture. The whole thing is open source, and it lets organizations deploy advanced reasoning and agentic models without handing everything to a big US cloud provider. There are two versions, the base DeepSeek V 3.2 and the DeepSeek V 3.2 Special. The special version is the absolute monster. It scored gold medal level on the 2025 International Mathematical Olympiad and the International Olympiad in Informatics. That's territory previously reached only by unreleased internal models from the top US labs. The base model itself hit 93.1% accuracy on AIM 2025 math problems and scored a 2386 rating on Code Forces, both right next to GPT-5 in reasoning benchmarks. For a company that's working with restricted access to advanced semiconductors, this is genuinely a huge deal. DeepSeek basically proved that with the right architecture, you can compete with the absolute best even when you don't have NVIDIA's latest chips. Their key innovation is something called DeepSeek Sparse Attention, or DSA, traditional transformer attention scales with the square of the sequence length, which gets insanely expensive as you increase context size. DSA changes that fundamental equation. It introduces what they call a lightning indexer that selects only the most relevant tokens for each query, cutting complexity down dramatically. In simpler terms, it stops wasting compute on irrelevant tokens and focuses only on what actually matters for the task. They trained it from their previous checkpoint, DeepSeek 5 3.1 Terminus, using 943.7 billion tokens. The results show up not only in benchmarks, but also in how efficiently it reasons during multi-turn conversations. One clever addition in V3.2 is how it handles tool use. Older reasoning models often discarded their thinking between turns, which meant they had to redo reasoning steps every time the user sent a new message. DeepSeek's architecture keeps those reasoning traces if only tool-related messages are added, so it doesn't waste tokens re-explaining its logic. That change alone makes a massive difference for agent workflows. Think autonomous research, multi-step coding, or financial planning, because it makes the model act less like a forgetful assistant and more like a steady coworker. Now on Terminal Bench 2.0, which measures coding workflow accuracy, it scored 46.4%. On SWE Verified, it hit 73.1%. And on SWE Multilingual, 70.2%. Those are enterprise-level results, showing it can actually handle production coding and problem solving. The team behind it went deep into agentic training, creating over 1,800 simulated environments and 85,000 multi-step prompts so the model could learn how to generalize its reasoning in unfamiliar tool scenarios. For companies that need autonomy and transparency, DeepSeek made the base model open on Hugging Face. The special version though stays API only because of its high token use. The reaction from the research community was immediate. Susan Zhang from Google DeepMind praised DeepSeek's technical documentation, especially how they stabilized post-training behavior. And at NeurIPS in San Diego, the news basically exploded. Group chats across labs were filled with people discussing it. Some experts like Florian Tremere, who focus on China's open source ecosystem, said it's one of the few cases where an open source model actually competes at the very top level. DeepSeek also admitted that it still lags behind in world knowledge and token efficiency compared to models like Gemini 3 Pro since it used less total compute, but they're already working on scaling pre-training resources and improving reasoning chain efficiency. For a lab under export restrictions, what they pulled off is borderline historic. Meanwhile, Mistral AI out of France just reminded everyone why open source momentum keeps growing. They launched the full Mistral 3 family, 
three compact dense models at 3 billion, 8 billion, and 14 billion parameters, and the flagship Mistral Large 3 with a sparse mixture of experts' architecture. The large version uses 41 billion active parameters out of a total of 675 billion, meaning it activates different expert paths depending on the task. Everything's fully open source under the Apache 2.0 license, so developers and enterprises can deploy it freely without worrying about restrictive terms. It's already available on basically every platform. Mistral AI Studio, Amazon Bedrock, Hugging Face, Modal, Open Router, and more. Under the hood, Mistral Large 3 was trained using 3000 NVIDIA H200 GPUs and features Blackwell attention kernels, meaning it's built to run fast on modern NVIDIA infrastructure. The smaller Ministral 3 models scale from edge devices to full data centers, each one coming in base, instruct, and reasoning variants with image understanding built in. They're provided in FP4 format, which is optimized for VLLM and NVIDIA hardware. For developers building local or hybrid AI setups, this release feels like a genuine gift. Another name that's been generating significant buzz lately is Kling AI, the Chinese company owned by Kuaishu, the same giant behind several short video apps. They're about to launch Kling 2.6, and this version might finally close the one big gap their video models had, sound. The update integrates native audio generation directly into the video model. That means spoken dialogue, singing, and even ambient sound effects come out in the same pass as the visuals. Their tagline for this one is, see the sound, hear the visual, which summarizes it perfectly. Internal leaks show Kling 2.6 Pro will include full multimodal support video, audio, and image-to-video workflows with global market audio in English and Chinese. This is a big step forward, because previous versions like Kling 2.5 and Kling Omni had amazing visual fidelity, but lacked built-in speech. Now they'll go head-to-head -head with models like OpenAI's Sora 2 and Google's VO 3.1, both of which already include audio support. The launch is expected around December 3rd during Kling Omni launch week, where the company is unveiling five new releases. Speaking of multimodal systems, Runway also showed up with something significant, Gen 4.5, their new video generation model that's already topping the video arena leaderboard. It scored 1,247 ELO points on the Artificial Analysis Text-to-Video benchmark, outperforming every other model currently available. Runway says Gen 4.5 brings cinematic level visual fidelity and physical accuracy. Powered by NVIDIA Hopper and Blackwell GPUs, the improvements go deep. More efficient pre-training data use, new post-training methods, and optimized inference. It generates complex scenes with realistic object motion and emotional nuance, things earlier models struggled with. The only remaining challenges are small lapses in causal reasoning or object permanence which basically means every now and then an object might disappear or shift incorrectly. Then we have Amazon, which decided to hit two different fronts at once, hardware and autonomous agents. At AWS RE Invent, they unveiled three new AI agents they're calling Frontier Agents. AWS also introduced two companion agents, the AWS Security Agent, which identifies security issues as code is written and even suggests fixes, and the DevOps Agent, which tests performance and compatibility automatically before new code goes live. Together, they're aiming to make entire software pipelines run with minimal human supervision. Amazon also announced a brand new AI chip, Tranium 3, which boosts performance across the board. Compared to the previous Tranium 2, it offers 4.4 times more compute performance, 4 times the energy efficiency, and nearly 4 times the memory bandwidth. The chip powers their Tranium 3 Ultra servers designed for massive AI workloads. Amazon even confirmed they're already working on Tranium 4, which will support NVIDIA's new NVLink Fusion Interconnect for even faster chip-to-chip -chip communication. The direction is clear. They're building an AI hardware stack that competes directly with NVIDIA's dominance while keeping everything in-house for AWS cloud clients. Now back to OpenAI because they quietly slipped another surprise into the Android app code. References hinting that ads are coming to ChatGPT were found in the latest beta version. Strings mentioning ads feature, bizarre content, search ad, and search ads carousel were spotted which basically confirms the company's preparing to integrate ads, likely around shopping and recommendation queries. Instead of inserting random ads into your chats, it looks like they'll appear as sponsored cards or product suggestions when you ask about commercial topics, kind of like how Google's AI overviews or Microsoft's Copilot handle it. There's even a mention of bizarre content, which sounds like a marketplace component for sponsored products. It's a logical move. 
OpenAI's free users create massive operational costs, and ad integration could help subsidize that while keeping premium tiers ad-free. It also shows how AI assistants are merging with traditional search business models. Perplexity AI already does this, embedding sponsored prompts beside normal ones, and it's been profitable. That's it for today, folks. See you in the next video.